hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, today we are going to see how we can set up the parental control in your Wi-Fi network uh, and then uh, by setting up this parental control you will able to filter all the sites uh, which are uh, you don't want an access to any of these devices that way you will have a better security uh, if the kids are accessing this network or any of the family members who are accessing the network uh, they would not get access to the sites you don't want them to uh, you can do that at multiple levels uh, you can do that at individual device level but the con or the, uh, the the problem with that is going to be you need to keep monitoring the logs on each of these devices and that's going to be taking you a lot of time and it's going to be troubleful instead you can do a centralized uh, filtering at the level of router so that any devices which are connected to that router they will have all uh, have a common settings and by that uh, they will not able to access the sites which are uh, filtered at the level of a router so uh, I'm going to show you how we can do that uh, before that uh, let's understand uh, what are the different ways you can uh, do the filtering uh, I'm using Netgear R7000 that is AC1900 router that's set up uh, using for my home uh, Wi-Fi network uh, you can see uh, on the basic you can see a parental control tab and uh, here there is there are multiple ways you can configure this uh, parental controls so uh, recently they have launched something called circle with disney but this is a paid uh, services and you need to pay monthly around about ten dollars to set up the parental control using uh, this option which is circle with disney uh, i'm going to show you uh, how you can do this free uh, using an open DNS server uh, that will be not costing anything to you and these services you can use and configure your router so that it will filter any of the sites. So let's understand quickly how the DNS work so that we can better understand how to set up the parameters. So if you see uh, any end user can request any of the sites let's say I am browsing on my laptop I, I type let's say amazon.com what will happen the request will go to the web server here and from there you will get a response uh, that will be a site that will be on your desktop or laptop or it could be on your any of the browser of your uh, devices uh, what internally happens right uh, this is site name is nothing but the domain name in technical terms and this domain name uh, is is sent to the DNS server so DNS server is every ISP that is internet service provider might have their own DNS server or you can access the uh, the common DNS server or an open DNS server which you are going to further configure so that uh, it, it stores uh, it, the domain names and the corresponding IPs uh, for each of these sites what happens as soon as it gets a domain name it picks up that domain name and it 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 finds the corresponding mapping of the IP and sends a response of that IP to the web server and from there the site is displayed what what happens at a DNS level let's say a site name comes here I can have that site name or domain name uh, filtered so that it doesn't respond with the requested IP for that particular domain name instead I can configure a certain message that need to go out to the web server to display it on the web page this is how we control all the traffic or the apply the filter at the level of a DNS so let's go and start configuring this So guys, uh, first connect to the Wi-Fi network of your router. Uh, I have a, a Wi-Fi network Netgear 13. I connected to that. Then as usual, go to the routers login.net page or you can type the IP address 192, 168 or 0.1 should be typically an IP. In my case, I have two routers. So I have it 1.1. .1. Uh, post that, go to the parental control. And once you go on the parental control, you will see the option to configure using a standard parental controls. 
so to set it up uh, you need to enable this button but uh, before that you need to do multiple steps uh, to configure your dns account you need to create an account at opendns.com site if you see to set up the home network it's free that means you don't need to really pay anything and uh, you should able to set up the uh, basic dns uh, for your home network so click, click go and click on sign up and then enter your email address and then country and passwords to get your account created hey guys so i already have an account so i'll be logging to this account and show you how you can set up or configure the open dns so guys as soon as you log in you should see something like this on the top your current ip is so and so what you need to do is just add that ip uh, onto your network and you can give any name to this probably i can give it as an home so you can see i've added this uh, home and along with that an ip uh, to my open dns settings once you do that uh, now you need to set up the filter you click on that ip and it will bring you to the page where you can do all the settings for your dns server uh, first thing is web content filtering Typically low to moderate is something you can set up for your family. Uh, moderate would be better because it has better level of control. So as I said, um, here you can have all the control, uh, uh, all the sites which will be blocked at a level of ads, alcohol, dating, drugs, gambling uh, and everything. So basically what will it do? It will have the list of all the domains which are falling in these categories and corresponding IPs it will filter uh, so now you can see I have applied the moderate filter uh, you can also do a custom level setting and select all the options or the categories where you want to apply the filter now you can add another domain which is not listed above and you want specifically to block that so here you click on a domain let's say it could be any domain let's say a simple domain where amazon.com and then you can click on add that domain and it will say hey uh, you want to block that site I, and you can say when you click on that and say confirm it will add that site into the block so let's get uh, to the next settings so security standpoint again you can apply all malware, phishing protections and uh, yeah you don't need to apply it for internals otherwise it might cause a lot of conflicts within the network LAN network in terms of stats and logs make sure that you enable the logs uh, click this checkbox and apply to all the networks or uh, you can purge the data if the data uh, if uh, you see there are logs which are more than seven to eight days you can purge that data and here I was telling you uh, how the DNS can respond with a specific message. So you can click on specific message. As soon as the block uh, site comes, it will send out a response that site is blocked and is not allowed on this network. Similarly, you can for a phishing sites, you can say, hey, phishing block, and this is what my message is going to be. And they, then click on apply to all the networks and say apply. So guys, that's it pretty much you need to do uh, on open DNS server uh, or site and then you're all set uh, with the basic settings which you need to do. Uh, just remember that uh, whatever user ID and password you have created for your open DNS site because you have to use that on your Netgear router. So let's go and see how to configure it on the Netgear router. So what you need to do is either install the Netgear Genie utility or you can go on your IP uh, and then start configuring uh, your router uh, to use open DNS settings so here is that button uh, but from directly on the web page you won't able to configure the things hence you need a Netgear Genie utility so as you see I'm using the Netgear Genie utility connected to Netgear 13 and on the parental control tab you just need to click next next it will ask you to create a new uh, open dns account directly from this page or you can direct first create an account as i have explained so guys once you enter user id and password and the password uh, you will be prompted here to the next page 
Uh, again, the same settings what we have done in Open DNS, you can apply it directly from Netgear. Click Next, and your setup is complete. It will take you to the home screen, and you can see Live Parental Control is enabled. And if you refresh the page out here, you should see again this button enabled control. It's enabled. So that way I will show you on my browser going to some site and it will block that site and throw the message uh, that uh, it's not allowing you to connect to that site. So folks, uh, now as you see, it's enabled. Uh, I told you that you can control at the level of a router. Now everything is controlled at the router level. But let's say you have an any device, let's say it's an iPhone, which I have, right? And I want to control this uh, at the level of a device. What I can do, I can click uh, on that device on network map, go to modify here, and then I can select the level of parenting control, which I need and say, I want it at a level of a moderate, high or low. So here I can say moderate, and then I say apply here. So that way now my phone, uh, can be controlled at an individual access level or I can set up everything at the level of a parent. Uh, this is all about Netgear. What if you have a router which is not Netgear router? You have some other router. You can still do all these settings. I will show you quickly how you can do that in next two minutes. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to go to the advanced tab. Uh, and then set up and you might have a WAN connection uh, wide area network or it could be an internet setup on your router. It could be in advanced setting or it could be in basic setting. Go on that setting and find where you have a DNS servers. So when you see the DNS server, uh, you need to change these DNS servers from getting automatically uh, from ISP to manually and then use following two DNS servers in primary and secondary and then click on apply. So now what will happen, uh, the requests which are coming will again go to the open DNS as I have explained and then from there it will filter the uh, content. Hey folks, thanks for watching this video. If you got some value out of this video, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and also like this video. Uh, I will be making one more video uh, that is parental control with Disney Circle. So please watch that video as well.